Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are converting this Figma design into a real website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And we have already completed the design of the desktop version. And we have also completed the design of the iPad Pro version in the previous video. So if you go to our browser, now here we can see this is how it will look on an iPad. And uh, we have a different design on the iPad. Now the next thing I will do is I'll just create one more media query for size less than 800 pixels. So right now we can see that the width is 1024 pixels for the iPad Pro. Now if you open this in an iPad, so if I just select the iPad device from here and this is how it looks. We can see that all the design over here looks alright but we don't have enough space for the navigation menu. So what we will do is when we have the width of the browser less than 800 pixels, we will just hide this menu bar and we will add an icon over here just like the mobile version over here. So we need to add this icon instead of this navigation menu. And then we also have to create this uh, mobile navigation menu. So these are the things we're going to do in this video. Let's get started. Right here I'm in the CSS and the first thing I will do is I'll just create a media query. So I'll just tap at media and we'll just have the max width to 800 pixels. So whenever the screen width is less than 800 pixels, all the CSS that we have over here will be added to our website. Now let's go to our HTML file and uh, let's scroll up. And here we can see for this navigation menu, we have this nav element. So we'll just hide this. So here I'll just type nav and I'll just set the display to none. All right, now let's create a navigation menu for the mobile devices. So let's go to our HTML file. And just after this comment, I'll just create a nav element. And I'll just give it a class of mobile nav. Now in this we need to have this logo and this icon. So let's create a division with the class of logo. And uh, I'll just type gd dot over here. And the next thing we need to have is the menu icon. So let's create a division with the class of menu icon. And here I'll just create an img tag. And I'll just type images slash. And I have saved it as menu icon dot svg. Alright, now let's go to our CSS file and we will style this mobile nav. So here I'll just type nav dot mobile nav and I'll just set the display to flex. Right now we also need to add a scrolled class. So if you go back to the iPad Pro version. Now for this navigation menu, when we scroll down, we can see that we have a different class and we also need to hide the other navigation menu over here. So let's scroll up and uh, here in the desktop version here i'll just type nav dot mobile nav and i'll just set it to display none right now here we can see when we scroll down we have a different styling and when we scroll up we have a different styling so for that we are adding a class called scrolled so here we can see for the nav element we are adding a class called scrolled and when we are adding that class we are adding these styles to the nav element so we will do the same for the mobile navigation menu as well. So let's go back to the iPad version. And here let's type nav dot mobile nav dot scrolled. And when we have the scrolled class, we will add a padding of eight pixels top and bottom and hundred pixels left and right. And we'll also add a background color and we'll set it to var light blue color. And we'll also add a box shadow. So I just type box shadow. And we'll set the values to 0, 9 pixels, 21 pixels, negative 5 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.3. Alright, now if we go back to our HTML file and here if we add the scrolled class, we can see we have a different styling. Now in the desktop version, we are adding the scrolled class using JavaScript. So let's do the same for this mobile nav. So let's go to our main.js file and let's select the mobile nav so i'll just type const mobile nav equals document dot query selector nav dot mobile nav and here when the window has scrolled more than 60 pixels i'll just add the scrolled class to mobile nav so i'll just type mobile nav dot class list dot add and here i'll just type scrolled and else we need to remove the class so i'll just type mobile nav dot class list dot remove and i'll just type scrolled and now if we scroll down, we can see that the class is added. And when we scroll up, the class is removed. 
what I've done is create the menu items that will be displayed when we click on this menu icon. So for that, let's go back to our HTML file. And uh, here we'll just create a division with the class of mobile menu container. And if you go back to our Figma file, we can see that we also need to have this close icon. So let's add that first of all. So I'll just create a division with the class of close icon. And I'll just add an IMG tag. And here I'll just type images slash and I have saved it as close icon.svg. Alright, now the next things we need to add are the menu items. So if you scroll up over here to this nav element, we can see these menu items over here. So we need to have the same menu items. So just copy this UL from here. And let's scroll down and paste it over here inside this mobile menu container. And here I'll just create a comment. I'll just type end of mobile navigation. All right, now let's style this. So let's go back to our style.css file. And uh, here I'll just type mobile menu container. And I'll just set the position to fixed. And I will set the height to 100 viewport height and the width to 100%. And uh, we'll set the positions to top 0 and uh, left 0. Let's also add a background color. So I'll just type background. And we will add the dark color. So I'll just type var. And we have a variable called dark color. Let's also bring everything to the center. So I'll just type display flex and align items to the center and justify content to the center. And we'll also add some Z index so that it is above all the other elements. So I'll just type Z index and I'll just set the Z index to 200. All right now let's style this close button. For the close button, we have a division with the class of close icon. So here I'll just type mobile menu container, close icon. And we'll set the position to fixed. And we'll set the top position to 32 pixels and the right position to 100 pixels. All right, now let's style this unordered list. Because here you can see we have this UL inside the mobile menu container. So let's style this. Here I'll just type mobile menu container UL. And let's remove the bullets. So I'll just type list style and set it to none. And we'll also remove the padding. So I'll just type padding and set it to zero. All right, now let's style the list items inside the UL. So here I'll just type mobile menu container UL LI. And we will have a margin of 30 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right. And we'll also text align it to the center. Right now let's style the anchor tags inside the li. So here we can see we have the anchor tags for the menu items. So here I'll just type mobile menu container ul li a. And let's set the color of the text to white. And let's remove the underline. So I'll just type text decoration and set it to none. And we'll also increase the font size a little bit. So I'll just type font size 18 pixels. All right, now the next thing we need to do is we need to hide this uh, mobile menu container by default. So let's scroll up and go to the mobile menu container. And here by default, I'll just set the left position to 100%. So right now the mobile menu container is outside the screen on the right side. Now what we will do is we will add a class called active to this mobile menu container. And when we have the class active, we will reset the left value. So I'll just type mobile menu container dot active. And I'll just set the left value to zero. And we'll also add a smooth transition. So I'll just type transition. And set it to all 400 milliseconds ease. And we also need to remove this close icon from here by default. So here for the close icon, I'll just set the opacity to zero. And we'll also set the pointer events to none so that it cannot be clicked. And let's also add transition so that we'll have smooth animation. I'll just set it to all 400 milliseconds ease. Now when we have the active class for the mobile menu container, we will display the close icon. So here I'll just type mobile menu container dot active and here I'll just type close icon. And I'll just set the opacity to one and the pointer events to auto. All right, now let's add and remove this active class using JavaScript. So let's go to our main.js file and we need to reference the menu icon, the close icon and the mobile menu container. So let's go back to our index.html file. And here we can see for the menu icon, we have this class of menu icon. And for the close icon, we have a class of close icon. And then for this division, we have a class of mobile menu container. So let's 
reference all of this in our JavaScript. So here let's type const menu icon equals document dot query selector menu icon and let's type const close icon equals document dot query selector and here let's type mobile menu container close icon and I'll just type const mobile menu container equals document dot query selector mobile menu container right now let's add event listeners to the menu icon and the close icon so here let's type menu icon dot add event listener and we'll listen for the click event and let's create an arrow function over here and here let's type mobile menu container dot class list dot add and we'll add the active class and we need to remove the active class when we click on the close button so here let's type close icon dot add event listener and click and here I'll just type mobile menu container dot class list dot remove active right now let's see whether it works so let's click on this menu icon and we can see that the mobile navigation menu is displayed over here and let's click on this close icon and we can see it goes back so everything is working all right all right now let's go back to the ipad pro version and let's see whether we have any problems in that and here we can see we need to hide this mobile menu container over here so let's go back to our styled css file and uh, here in the desktop version here we can see we are hiding this mobile nav so here i'll just add one more selector so i'll just type comma mobile menu container and now we don't have any problems so let's go back to the ipad version and uh, everything is working all right all right so that's it for this video in the next video we will style the mobile version so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day